All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave back again talking real music in real time for, I don't know, like two or three real people out there just like you and just like me. All right, Black Swan, Black Swan, ladies and gentlemen. Generation Mind, here it is. Here it is. Holy crap, Batman. Um, This came out earlier this year. <laughs> like, why couldn't you play this on a rock station? Seriously, in the United States, in the USA, okay? Robin McCauley, who is a geezer, right? He's a rock vocalist geezer, and he is spectacular. Um, I really don't know too many other singers his age who can do what he does, although I do talk about them when I find one. Glenn Hughes is a good one. Um, Graham Bonnet, Graham Bonnet, he's one of them. Um, but man, this is great material and should be on rock stations everywhere. Okay. So there you have it. Black Swan. Amazing. Courtesy again of our friends over at Frontiers Music. For all you people who get a little tired of Frontiers, yeah, they've got some stuff out there that I don't pay attention to. But then they've got Black Swan. So <laughs> you got to go listen. Um, speaking of listening, if you were listening, if you were a part of the um, Taylor Hawkins tribute concert, the uh, tribute concert that apparently was the greatest tribute concert of all time. Like, you know, a little tribute they did for George Harrison where it was like Eric Clapton and Jeff Lynn and Prince showed up. Yeah, yeah, it's apparently that's not a big deal and i'm just like scratching the surface what like uh tom petty i think was there too i mean that was kind of a big deal right to me the concert for george was a slightly bigger and better tribute than this thing they did for taylor hawkins who was a drummer in a band right that a lot of people either really don't care about or didn't really know who he was seriously all right. So anyway, that's my editorial on the whole Taylor Hawkins thing. Um, so Wolfgang Van Halen goes out there and he shreds, right? I've been hearing this all over the internet. Did you see Wolfie shred on fire and hot for teacher? Did you see it? It was, it was pretty spectacular. I mean, guess what? He should take over on lead guitar in Van Halen. Folks, it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. And Wolfie basically goes off again. Another article out there that I read today saying, nope, sorry, it's not going to happen. Now, a couple of things, all right? So if you don't want to draw a lot of attention to yourself, why go out there and shred and play your father's music. How about you go out there and play one of your own tunes, right? From the whole mammoth um, WVH or whatever you're calling, which again, find a new name for the band. You know, call it Wolfie, call it Wolfgang on steroids. I don't know. Call it Big Wolf. How's that? I like that because that's not only is it a great name, but it's like true in its advertising Big Wolf, you know, big, get it? All right, so <laughs> I'm sorry. The guy is obviously really talented, okay? He's super talented, but he's not navigating this whole my father isn't here anymore thing very well. He's just not. And the people writing about it, they're not doing a good job either because they're like prodding him, and he's one of the most rebellious people and which, and I do like the spirit of rebellion that he has, like, hey, I'm not my father, but I'm going to go out there and do a couple of Van Halen songs at a tribute for Taylor Hawkins. Contradiction much? Why not do some of your own music? Hey, man, why not rework one of those Foo Fighter songs? Foo Fighters, sorry. There should be an S on that. Um yeah, because I'm so into the Foo Fighters, I, I, I lost the S. The S rolled away. They're the Foo Fighters, Dave. Come on. Aren't you into this band? No, no, I'm actually not. And I know I'm supposed to be, but I'm not. 
just like I'm supposed to be cheering on the war in Ukraine, because that's a good thing, right? Because we should have more war that never ends. Anyway, um, look, folks, I like Wolfgang Van Halen. I think he's really talented. But two things here. He's, he's basically saying, I'm not going to do this music, but watch me play this music. And then everybody says, hey, you should play this music. And he's going, no, I'll never bleep and play my father's catalog. I'd be disrespecting dad if I went out there and brought Van Halen back to life. Mm, I don't think that's true. <laughs> hey, I'm honoring my father's legacy by continuing this amazing music. You can make the argument either way, right? First argument, nobody replaces Eddie Van Halen. Okay, fine. Um, second argument, his son is here and he'd like to keep the franchise open for business. And there are a lot of people out there who would like to see him keep the franchise open for business. Now, you got a little problem here. Well, it's kind of a big problem. That would be David Lee Roth. <laughs> Dave, I think, has assumed the identity of Van Halen while nobody was looking because he's out there doing uh, Panama, you know, because, hey, I'm David Lee Roth and I'm the heir to the estate, so I'm going to start re-recording all of the material I did 40-something years ago, and yeah, my versions are going to be even better, because I'm going to go in there with a band, and I'm just going to record it live, and no matter what I sound like, that's going on tape, and everybody's going to love it. Yeah, um, so far, um, you're 0 for 1, Dave, just saying, so far, okay? Not bad, but you're still 0 for 1. It was kind of like a fastball, high and outside, and you chased it, and you missed it, all right? Anyway, folks, um, bottom line here is uh, Wolfgang Van Halen says, no, uh, there will be no Van Halen reunion with me in the band. And furthermore, I'm really mad that people would suggest, even though I just shredded on two songs, right? And the internet is abuzz with the performance. It was a very decent performance. I don't know if it was um, dad caliber, but it was still really good. So in any event, I will wrap up with the Black Swan, ladies and gentlemen. Black Swan, Generation Mind. Here they are, courtesy of Frontiers Music. Really well put together album. The material is really strong. And the singing by Robin McCauley is off the charts and you should get yourself a copy of this came out a few months ago and again nobody cares here in the united states nobody cares they just uh who what's black swan where are la guns can we talk about them where's great white can we <laughs> man anyway we'll never move forward um what's going to happen is all of the old music eventually will dry up and people will say okay well, what's next? Well, nothing's next because nobody's reporting uh, or promoting uh, what's next. They're just holding on to the past and eventually the past will eventually fade away. All right. That's my uh, philosophical um, advice for the music industry. See you soon.